Hello, my name is Zara Hoffman. I'm a self-published author of the Paranormal Romance, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the start of my week one NaNoWriMo vlog. I just finished my four-hour live stream on my YouTube channel that started at 8 a.m., which is an hour earlier than I'm used to getting up and live streaming on Sundays. I had six wonderful guests with me. I will leave a link in a card for you to follow all of them uh, by going to the stream that we hosted together first. Um, I wrote a total of 127 words during those four hours because I had to do a lot of rereading of what I had written from three years ago uh, because I found out that I needed to insert a scene in the middle of what had already been written, not just after. So that took more time than I thought it would. But 127 words is still better than nothing, and I'm hoping to get a lot more writing done today. I also have my little writing buddy with me. Uh, very confused by what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, that is the start and probably end of my first day update. I might do an update at the end of today. And uh, we'll see how this vlog goes for the rest of the week. Wish me luck. Hello, it is November 2nd. I woke up about an hour ago but haven't done any writing yet. I went to sleep really early last night because I wasn't mentally feeling up to doing any writing. I did not think I would be starting an NaNoWriMo off so roughly, um, but after my four hour live stream, I did some homework and there was an article I had to read that just really took it out of me. So I'm hoping today will be better and I will update you later. It is Wednesday, November 4th. I just finished my live stream with Sako Tumi or Cass Voigt on my channel. There were a lot more technical difficulties than I'm used to because I accidentally didn't set the on-screen timer the same time as my Forest app on my phone. So in the future, I gotta make sure that I do them at the same time. But other than that, the stream was fun. I didn't get that much writing done. I kept getting distracted, unfortunately, and I'm finding that to be the pattern every time I'm hosting this NaNoWriMo, and I need to find a way to actually do writing. It's nothing to do with hosting. It's more just me anytime, because I'm still not writing that much even when I'm not streaming. It is Thursday the 5th, and the reason I am doing such a far away shot is because I just got my hair cut. I haven't done much writing today, but I've done more writing today than I have every day other than November 1st, where I wrote 127 words. It's not going great. I need to find a way to up my word count every day. I don't think I'm going to win this NaNo, which is okay. I haven't won every year that I've done it. I've done it every year since 2006, I believe. But when the new site transferred over, I in a not great decision, deleted the projects that I had failed. So on my profile, aside from this project and the ones in 2020, the only projects that are on there are ones that I've won. So losing NaNoWriMo is not new to me, but I'm a little disappointed because I thought I'd be doing at least better than I am now. And also it is overlapping with Millwardy, and that's just been a really hard thing for me to do. So we'll see. Also, I have learned that, I figured this out on the first, but I forgot to mention it up until now, uh, is that I can't vlog the way I wanted to during the day because my DSLR camera only films for five minutes before it shuts off on its own, even when it's fully charged. So I can't have shots of me working all day. So I need to figure out a way to vlog like I did in July's NaNoWriMo. But just shots of me working on my laptop is kind of what you can imagine for these past few days where I haven't had shots of me working because I've been doing homework all day today and I did a lot of homework yesterday too. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, not a lot of writing, a lot of homework. Uh, so I'm hoping to get back into the writing groove 
on Friday during my live stream and over the weekend. It is the morning of Saturday, November 7th. I am awake an hour earlier than usual. It is 7 a.m., which is great because in an hour, Kate Cavanaugh is hosting her five-hour write-in. I just spent the last 20-ish minutes writing down as much as I could from a shiny new idea that I got last night right as I was going to sleep. I had already set my phone to the forest app so I wouldn't stay up later than I wanted to. I couldn't write it down and luckily I remembered everything, which never happens for me, I forget something. It's NaNoWriMo so getting a shiny new idea isn't the best timing. I will not be switching over to it for the rest of the month, but I wrote down what I needed and I will get to it whenever I want to, which is great. Last night at my live stream with Estelle, she was talking about how she's not doing nano anymore for the 50,000 words, but is instead trying to just write every day. And I think that's going to be my goal now too, because I went into this thinking, oh, I'll just finish the story and then, you know, it won't be 50,000 words, but I'm still going to try it and hit as many words as possible every day. And now I think my goal is going to be just to write as much as possible, but specifically write every day. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the vlogging thing. I might have to get a new camera or something. I'm not sure, and that would require me saving money. So we'll see. I was able to be there for the first four hours. The final hour I had to leave because I was going with my mom to see my aunt and uncle for the first time in a while, which was nice. And then we wound up spending most of the day there, which was unplanned. Uh, so we just came back and it was dark when we were driving back. And, you know, we're all kind of a little tired, but my mom and I are also really happy because for those of you who don't live in the U.S. and maybe haven't checked the news, today a lot of the news stations uh, declared Joe Biden as the predicted winner and therefore president-elect. So something good came out of this year, aside from my making a lot of new friends on AuthorTube, and I am so excited that that's the case. I didn't get any writing done really during those sprints because I was just really distracted. Once someone broke the news in the chat that Joe Biden had won, we all productivity kind of went out the window. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but you're right. That's so funny. <laughs> so, not a productive writing day for me, which I'm getting more and more used to, which isn't great, but today was a great day all the same. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so you don't miss any future videos from me. I make videos about musical theater and my writing, and I am uploading weekly NaNoWriMo vlogs for the rest of this month. And if you want to do writing sprints, I host them three times a week, Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you soon with another video. Bye!